welcome to ABC Interactive English. This is Henry, and this is Karen.、Mm-hmm. And today we are looking at day one of a window on the world, and it's called how airports control us. And the vocabulary words are actually, actually. This is actually not my car. Pass, pass. I passed a guard on my way into the building. Knowledge, knowledge. Susan has a lot of knowledge about plants. Direction, direction. North is this direction. Mm-hmm. So, uh, my dad. Okay. Has a real problem asking for directions. <gasps> he doesn't do that because he feels like he loses face or his manhood. I think a lot、somehow. of men have a problem asking for, for direction. Dire- yeah. When they are I don't, lost, I don't have a problem asking for directions because I don't want to waste time, and I have nothing to prove. Good for you. I'm pretty good with a map, but again, good for you. Well, we have, we don't even need maps anymore. We have GPS now. Exactly. So most of the time, you don't even have to ask for directions. But if you do, ask for directions, please. And don't feel bad about it. Well, it's okay. I had, I wasted a lot of time in my dad's car. <laughs> Of growing up because he, he refused. refused to ask for directions. I actually know quite a few people、and、who are like he that. He still doesn't know how to use GPS. So <laughs> when we go out, and he still insists on driving us, like he he refused. I can't drive when I'm with. Just、him. leave your house early. You should be fine. Okay. <laughs> The question for today is: How do airport designs help us? How do airport designs help us? Yes. Some airports could be quite big, and you need to ask for directions too.、Mm-hmm. How airports control us? Airports are big. They don't only have gates; they have stores, restaurants, and even spas and theaters. They can be easy to get lost in. Airport designers can help us. Their designs actually control us. They tell us where to go and what to do. We seldom notice. After you pass security, you can usually see outside. That's where the planes are. If you can see a plane, you know that a gate is there too. That knowledge helps you walk in the right direction. You don't need to look at the signs. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Mary. Welcome to our A Window on the World unit for this month. The topic of our article for the next two days is a place that most of us have been to, few of us spend a lot of time in, and I'd be willing to bet even fewer of us give much thought to. I'm talking about airports. They are the place to go to catch airplanes. We know that they are big, important, and busy. But beyond that, they don't really attract too much of our attention.、Hmm. But when you think about it, airports are very complicated, and they have to work very well. Because if they didn't, the quick and convenient air travel that we all take for granted would be completely impossible. So let's take a look at airports as we get into our article, which has the rather interesting title of "How Airports Control Us." Sounds scary, but don't worry. It's not that bad. The first sentence in the article for today reads: "Airports are big. Absolutely. All you have to do is look at one as you are landing, or find a picture of one taken from above, and you will immediately notice that airports take up a lot of space and have many big buildings." That's true. Next, we learn about some of the familiar things that we find in airports. It says they don't only have gates; they have stores, restaurants, and even spas and theaters. Wow, theaters! Really? Yeah, that kind of surprised me too. But to that list, we could also add medical centers, children's play areas, and even small churches and temples. They really are like small cities, and just like a city, they can be easy to get lost in. Right. Imagine trying to find your way around without all of the signs.、Mm, and those signs you are talking about are put up with a lot of thought and care. As we next read, airport designers can help us, and that's not all. We also read their designs actually control us. 
or at least control where and how we move around in the airport. We'll get to that later, but first we need to look at the vocabulary word that is also new for us today. The word is actually. 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 It's an adverb. Actually is a word we use when we want to say that something is true even though it might be hard to believe or not seem logical. Yes, we're saying. Yes, it's surprising, but it is also true. Most people, for example, know what opera music is, but not many people listen to it to relax. But if you do, your friends might not believe it, so you would say, opera isn't bad. Actually, I listen to it to relax. Your friends might also use actually in a question to check if what you just said was true because they find it hard to believe. Wait, you actually like listening to opera? For example, most people prefer sunny days, but Jessica actually likes it when it rains. 大部分的人都喜欢晴天，但实际上 Jessica 反而喜欢雨天。Actually, actually, 其实，事实上，的确的，这是一个副词。我们会用到 actually 这个字的时机啊，通常是发生在某件事令人难以理解或置信的时候哦。我们要说明那件事啊，其实是真的。例如 ，I thought Janet was twenty years old, but she's actually thirty. I thought Janet was twenty years old, but she's actually thirty. 我以为 Janet 只有二十岁，但她其实已经三十岁喽。另外，如果我们听到那件事实实在太过惊吓了，想要和对方啊确认这件事情的确是真的的时候，我们也可以这样子说 ：Are you saying that Ben actually threw up in front of the whole class? Are you saying that Ben actually threw up in front of the whole class? 你是说 Ben 真的在全班面前吐了吗？ Actually, 其实真的是一个很好用来表达情绪的字哈。顺便补充一个单字，文中提到的 designer 是的，是设计师。那今天的文章啊，是在讲机场。机场真的很大哦，里面有各式各样的商店，甚至还有 spa 和戏院。那也因为机场很大，人们很容易在里面迷路。那刚刚说到机场的标识啊，就可以帮助我们找到路哦。但其实他们也在控制我们。Now we can go to Mike for our question of the day. What do you have for us, Mike? Well, Mary, the question for today is, how do airport designs help us? And we get that answer as we read. They tell us where to go and what to do. They tell us where to go and what to do. Hmm. And not only that, but we seldom notice. That's right. We just go to the airport, follow the signs, and rarely think about how we ended up at the right place without really planning it. Amazing. We'll find out more about airport design and designers after this quick break. Hello, 所以，比如说这个 Tammy is、uh, waiting for me to turn in the scripts. 啊，他在等我交稿子。真的，你最害怕，而且每一次会压那个日期，死期。你死期到了，你给我交稿子，听到没有？他最害怕。对，那死期就是 deadline。嗯， deadline 就是死亡的一条线。Deadline。好惨。You should turn in your report by the deadline. You should turn in your report by the deadline. 嗯，交报。昨天又被定了。对。啊交报告还有其他说法吗？你也可以说 hand in， hand in， 对，就是呈上去， hand in，、oh, OK， hand in your paper， hand in your assignments。啊，对。但 turn in 呢，还有另外一个意思，就是上床睡觉。哎呦，哎，好，所以呢， Would you like some tea before you turn in？ Would you like some tea before you turn in？、嗯、你把你自己叫到床上面。对对对， oh. turn in 啊，那这个交交的话，你也可以说 submit 这个字。Submit, submit 就是提交、交交这样。嗯，但是我真的记得，我小时候常常忘记要交作业。看得出来啊，你就说啊、oh, ，I totally forgot. Oh, I 
totally forgot. To hand in the assignment. To hand in assignment.、Oh, I totally forgot to hand in the assignments. 可是万一通过死线了，呃，过了死期了，嗯、你还想补交作业？该怎么说呢？补交作业是吧？就是晚交。嗯、晚交、哦。那就是呢 ，turn in the homework late. Turn in the homework late. 好、哦，就直接加一个 late 就好了、嗯。Can I turn in the homework late? 我可以补交吗？哦，当然，你老板会说不行，不行，要扣钱。对，所以呢，你赶快去写吧。来看我们的 live action。Yo yo, did you turn in your paper this morning? Oh no, I totally forgot to do so. <gasps> Miss Lin told us that it had to be turned in by the deadline. <gasps> Gosh, I have to go find her now. I hope she doesn't mind that I will be turning my homework late. Good luck. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs>、Oh. Explanation two. Welcome back. Airport design is the topic of a window on the world for this month, and we are learning that good airport design will be almost invisible. As it guides thousands of travelers a day to the places they need to be. Now let's go to one of our first places. An art, an airplane passenger might be as they start moving towards their plane. We read, after you pass security, you can usually see outside. Yeah, there are usually huge windows all along the long hallways of an airport. Right. We'll find out about why those windows are there right after we look at the second new vocab word for today. The word is pass. 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 It's a verb. To pass something is to go by something, or maybe also to go through something. If you are walking faster than another person, you will pass them. Unless they start going faster too, fast cars on the highway will pass slower cars. We can also use pass when we move, but something isn't moving. You might pass a convenience store as you walk to work or school. For example, the soldier showed his ID card so he could pass the guard at the main gate. 那位士兵出示了他的身份证，通过了大门的警卫。Pass, pass. 通过、超过、经过的意思，这是一个动词哦。例如 ，We just passed the restaurant you said, but we didn't see you. We just passed the restaurant you said, but we didn't see you. 我们刚刚有经过你说的那间餐厅，但我们没有看到你。那 pass 还可以有通过的意思。同学们有没有想到你们的考试呢？例如 ，After failing for three times, Jim finally passed the exam. After failing for three times, Jim finally passed the exam. 在失败三次之后啊 ，Jim 终于通过了考试。通过考试就可以使用 pass 这个字哦。此外，在另外啊，英文里也有一个用法 pass away， 是逝去、过时的意思，可以用来委婉的表达死亡。来看一个例句 ：Zach's father passed away last week. Zach's father passed away last week. Zach 的父亲上礼拜过世了。那我们刚刚文章说到，在你通过安检之后，你通常可以看到户外，而文章中的 security 就是安检。So the huge windows in the airport. What are they for? As we continue reading, we learn that's where the planes are. If you can see a plane, you know that a gate is there too. Ah, I kind of moves you in that direction without even thinking about it. Right. We don't need signs or maps if we can easily see the place that we want to go to. Cool. As it says, that knowledge helps you walk in the right direction. You don't need to look at the signs. This saves lots of time for travelers and also stops people from getting lost and maybe even missing their planes. All with the help of some careful thought and a few huge windows. Plus, it lets lots of light in. Very nice. Okay, we're almost done for today, but we do need to take care of our final two new vocabulary words before we wrap things up. The third new word for today is knowledge. 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 It's a noun. Knowledge is information that you know. When we learn things and remember them, that is knowledge for our brains. We go to school, read books, and learn things in other ways too. 
and all of this gives us more knowledge. For example, we still have little knowledge about the deepest parts of the ocean. 我们对于深海的了解啊，仍旧非常的少。Knowledge, knowledge. 学问知识，理解认知，它是一个名词哦。当我们学习新的事物，并把它们记在我们的脑袋里的时候，它们就变成了我们的知识。像是同学们上学、读书，都是获取知识的好方法哦。来看一个例句 ：As the saying goes, knowledge is power. As the saying goes, knowledge is power. 俗话说得好，知识就是力量。毕竟知识啊，是永远不嫌多的。此外 ，knowledge 也可以用来表达你对某个人事物的了解和认识的程度。片语 to one's knowledge 就是据某个人所知的。例如 ，To my knowledge, Jason hasn't got married yet. To my knowledge, Jason hasn't got married yet. 据我所知啊 ，Jason 还没有结婚。而我们刚刚从文章里得知的知识，则是如果你看得到飞机，你就知道登机门啊一定在附近。这个认知就可以帮助我们往正确的方向走，甚至不需要看标示哦。And there's one word to go, right, Mike? That's right, Mary. One more word, and the final new word is direction. 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 It's a noun. A direction is the way something is moving, pointing, or going. When we walk, we are moving forwards. That is the direction we are going in. Our body and our eyes will also be facing that direction. If you turn left or right, you are changing direction. Maps are useful for finding the right direction so that we can get somewhere. And we use words like north, south, east, and west to talk about different directions. The steering wheel in a car is what we use to change the car's direction while we are driving. For example, after driving for one hour, we realize that we were going in the wrong direction. 在开了一小时车之后，我们才发现呐、啊，我们开错方向了。Direction, direction. 方向、方位，这是一个名词。有时候，当我们找不到正确的方向、方位的时候，地图和东西南北就会是我们的好帮手哦。例如 ，We're heading east, which is the right direction to the coast. We're heading east, which is the right direction to the coast. 我们正在朝东走，是往海岸的正确方向。而同学们也有看过啊，父母亲在开车的时候操作 steering wheel 方向盘来调整车子行进的方向。如果这时候你想当个好帮手啊，你可以帮忙指路哦。例如 ，The sign points in that direction, so we had better follow it. The sign points in that direction, so we had better follow it. 指标指向那个方向，所以我们最好跟着它走。And we have been heading in the right direction for this whole article, and now we have reached the end. That's right. Although it's only the end of today's article, we will have the second half of our look at airport design tomorrow. Until then, have a pleasant trip, and please let the flight attendants know if there's anything they can do to make your journey more comfortable. We'll see you very soon. Bye bye. bye. How airports control us. Airports are big. They don't only have gates; they have stores, restaurants, and even spas and theaters. They can be easy to get lost in. Airport designers can help us. Their designs actually control us. They tell us where to go and what to do. We seldom notice. After you pass security, you can usually see outside. That's where the planes are. If you can see a plane, you know that a gate is there too. That knowledge helps you walk in the right direction. You don't need to look at the signs. Audience, 第二则要解析的是 W H 问词形成的不定词片语 Where to go, what to do。第三则是传达不需要的句型 Somebody doesn't need to 加原形动词。让我们从表示迷路的动词片语开始吧。Get lost 意思是迷路 ，get 在这里是不及物动词变成的意思。Lost 是形容词，迷路的，走失的。
合在一起。Get lost 字面意思就是迷路，例如 Mario got lost in the maze， 马里奥在这座迷宫里面迷路了。接着来看下一则文法。名词片语 where to go 意思是去哪里，是由 w h 疑问词形成的不定词片语，以不定词 to v 修饰前方的 w h 疑问词。例如 what to do 是做什么 ，when to leave 是何时离开 ，how to build a snowman 意思是怎么堆雪人。例如 Brenda didn't know what to do when she fell off the sleigh. 布兰达从雪橇上摔下来，不知道该怎么办。接着来看下一则文法：句型 somebody doesn't need to 加原形动词，意思是某人不需要做某事。动词片语 need to 加原形动词，意思是需要做某事。例如 ，Japanese high school students need to wear uniforms。日本高校生需要穿制服，而 doesn't need to 则是不需要做某事。例如 ，American elementary school student don't need to wear uniforms。美国小学生不需要穿制服。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民双语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hi everyone, welcome to a sentence today with me, Karen. 那这个礼拜要跟大家介绍就是有关于一些户外活动的句子。今天呢，要跟大家介绍就是赏鸟。如果你是喜欢赏鸟的话，那你就可以使用今天的句子了。那今天大家讲的句子就是我每周日都会去赏鸟。英文应该要怎么说呢 ？You can say I go bird watching every Sunday. I go bird watching. Every Sunday, 我每周日都会去赏鸟 Well, this week we're introducing some sentences related to outdoor activities. Now, some people like to go bird watching because they come in different sizes and they come in different colors, and there's so many different types of birds out there, and then they're so beautiful to watch, right? And you can see them in different places. So, if you like bird watching. You would find today's sentence very useful. Okay, the sentence for today is: I go bird watching every Sunday. I go bird watching every Sunday. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天在 A Window on the World 学到了四个单字，现在用一分钟的时间来帮大家复习。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时，开始。好，第一个单字它是副词，意思是其实、事实上。知道是哪个字吗？叫做 actually。actually。actually， it was Terry who locked the door， not me。哎，事实上是 Terry 锁的门，不是我锁的。好，再来看第二单词，它当动词表示经过。好，那这字怎么说呢？我们在打扑克牌，然后没有牌可以出的时候，不是会讲过过过或是啪啪啪吗？就来学这个字叫做 pass， pass。He passes the library on his way to school. 他去上学途中都会经过图书馆。好，再看第三个单词是认知知识。我们有知识就是因为知道某个东西嘛，所以跟知道 know 那个字有关，叫做 knowledge。knowledge 认知知识。He has little knowledge of cooking. 他对烹饪一窍不通，几乎都不懂哎。再看第四个单词是方向。方向怎么说呢？叫做 direction。Direction. 你要问路叫做 ask for directions. 好，例如 Henry has a good sense of direction. Henry 他的方向感很好，都不会迷路。好，太好了，我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词，同学们表现非常棒哦。那回去要多多复习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。